guys welcome back to my channel you're welcome to skin talk with d so yes for my last video you guys would have seen that i'm currently battling with acne on my face and i'm just using my phone now i just took my bath let me brush my hair so that i look like a human being Okay, so I just took my bath and I want to do my morning realistic morning acne routine I'm just in front of my window and almost oh, this sun is it's so hot but this is the best place that I can I hope you guys can see me because I'm not even seeing safe <laughs> well if this video doesn't look good I might not post it but I hope you guys can actually um, see me okay okay so this is my face right now from the last video you see that there's a little bit of improvement with this new routine that i'm doing i'm going to start reviewing products that i've used so far the ones that has been helpful the ones that hasn't been helpful so to start off i'm going to be cleansing my face so the first thing i did obviously was wash my face i washed my face with this simple moisturizing facial wash you know because you have oily skin most of the times we'll always think that using things that dry out your skin is the best but absolutely no what you need on your skin are things that can moisturize your skin without clogging your pores at the same time um giving your skin the moisture that it needs so your skin doesn't your brain doesn't tell your skin to start generating mm, my lips are crossed i just took my back you know your brain doesn't tell your skin to start producing more oil than usual you get so um yeah this is the moisturizing facial wash i got so that's the one i've been like using and i've noticed that the oil production on i don't know how to put this camera without the burglary and all these things showing so i've realized that the oil production on my skin you know see <laughs> the oil production on my skin has reduced i used to have very very oily face and i noticed that the more I experience stress, the more oily my face becomes. I remember when I was in the hospital taking care of a loved one, like I was very stressed that period. People were literally asking me, how can I wash your face? My face looked like I had granite oil on my face. My face was so sticky. Even when I wash it, after washing, it was always like that. So stress was making me produce more oil. And you know, when you are living in the hospital, I literally was living in the hospital. The last thing on your mind is to start thinking of skincare or what to rub on your face or all that so after washing i hope i'm not talking too much after washing with the simple moisturizing face wash then i go in with my toner i have two toners um i use two toners sometimes i combine both sometimes i use one in the night uh, for a particular reason but today uh sorry i'll be using a cleanser not a toner i have everything right here so i use this micellar cleansing water by beauty formula it is very mild that's why i like it it is very very mild and i thank god that this particular uh, routine that i'm doing right now because the ones i've tried in the past there's always one thing there that will cause me to break out either the ingredients in the combination of products i'm using um, the ingredients in them don't you know agree with my skin so it causes me to break out or it gives me like reaction but i thank god that i have finally figured out a routine that works and i've started it now this is almost like three weeks and i would say there's a lot of improvement because those tiny tiny bumpy pimples i used to have that was a lot I can't see them anymore it's just for these scars to just go away like my face is really healing okay and so i use this micellar cleansing um water because it's very very mild just to like double cleanse and i don't want to use anything harsh this time so i just put it on my cutting pad this micellar cleansing water i'm going to be putting the price of how much i got everything if you also want me to tell you the plug where i got it from uh just leave a comment down in the comment section my plug is in abuja of course because i'm in abuja currently so um yeah i could also give you a plug if you're in kaduna these are the two places that i'm sure of okay i use a very very mild soap so this is it don't forget your neck as well yes i use a very very mild soap 
before i now go ahead to use i've used jam soap so jam soap is very very good the white one maybe i'll also talk about it one day you know so i double cleanse like this so i i was saying that i use a mild soap first before i go in with the simple um with the simple can you see can you see that even though i've washed my face okay so once i'm okay with cleansing mm, the next thing i go in with is my toner i'm using this toner skin by zaron ultimate glow brightening toner with kojic acid glycolic acid niacinamide and higher Uronic acid. I'm also going to sit here one day and do a video on these skin ingredients that are very very important you, Especially when you are getting older, you know certain skin care ingredients Ingredients that should be in your skincare their uses why they are important and how they help you avoid all these um, All these things. Okay, so what I do with the Zaron toner sometimes if i feel like i will go in with my cutting pad this cutting pad cost two five it's a very long one i've been using it now for months it's called two five so i'll go in with the cutting pad just like i use my cleanser but this is not a cleanser it's a toner so i just tap it on my face you know this to restore the ph you know after washing your face with soap and all of that you stripped your face of all the oils and everything your pores have been unclosed and all that so you want to now restore the ph of your skin so that is the purpose of a toner so this toner um like i said i use cutting pad or these days what i like to do i saw somebody using this method and i feel it's more effective so i just put um, a quantity on my palm and then i just dab it into my skin so this is what i do don't forget your neck as well because i also used to have acne under my but it's just cast now under my neck so this is it i hope you guys can see me like i can't even see anything on this screen right now so i just dab it in and yes that's it i wait for this to dry before i go in with my serum So the serum I use for the morning skincare routine, I try to make sure that it is very, very light. I don't use very heavy things on my face. So I use as little products as possible, you know. Um, so for this one, I'll be going in with the Beauty's Formulas 10% Niacinamide Serum. With this, like, serum. I don't know. I want to ask, yeah, if you have used this serum before, right? Like does yours turn white here i'm going to i think i'm going to try to read on it and try to see what causes it probably i'll also come on my updates video and talk about it but this is what happened to my serum anytime it spills out of the bottle this is what happens so this is the serum i use the 10 percent niacinamide of course niacinamide is very very important if you have acne you know and you have oily skin and you want to keep on you know unclogging your pores so the best way to do this is to put drops on your face with your dropper and make sure that the dropper doesn't touch your skin to avoid contamination so once i have these drops on it's easy and instead of dropping it on your hand because that way you tend to waste products your hand tends to absorb the products more instead of your face absorbing it so you tend to use more product can you see i even have enough to go around my neck now so i just apply it around my neck where i have this acne another thing again i noticed is that my pores since i started getting this acne thing is that my pores are super 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 enlarged right now super enlarged you could clearly see them if you come close to me that was what i started noticing before this pimple stain just took over my face okay good why am i looking like an abino i've tried to adjust this thing severally to try to but the sun i need it because i don't even have my ring light with me okay so this is it 
but i like it because it's showing without any filter it's showing my skin exactly how it is so after going in now with my 10 percent niacinamide serum the next thing i would do supposing it wasn't the night i would have gone in with my spot remover or anything like that but like i said i want to do a very very light um morning routine today i don't like to put too much on my face and my face is so lightweight like this serum is super lightweight and at the same time it's very sticky so if you do your makeup it tends to make your makeup stay longer then i use this simple light moisturizer this moisturizer indeed is very very light i'm going to do a proper review on the moisturizer soon i love it very very lightweight doesn't doesn't leave my skin heavy um doesn't have any scent it's just what my skin needs okay especially for me now that has pimples and oily skin so it is very lightweight absorbs quickly so i'm just going to put a just like this a little quantity there and a little goes a long way it's so easy to apply then i will just apply it on my face if you notice i'm not putting it on my hand and rubbing it in like i said that way you tend to waste products because your hand tends to absorb more of the product than the area that you actually intend to apply the product so that way you tend to now start using more products than than usual so this is it i'm just going to go in and also apply on my neck okay And then the last step for this routine, which is the most important, is sunscreen. So of course you know that I use the Gavia sunscreen, but I'm not going to be applying sunscreen today because I want to do my makeup. The thing with this sunscreen is that I don't know when I apply it, it tends to now start, um, how do I put it? It makes my face rough. So when I apply makeup, the makeup starts to peel off when I apply foundation and all of that. So because i want to do makeup i want to do a video on my other channel if you're not following me on my other channel like why on that channel i'm even more active there right now because i do another thing that i love which is perfume reviews if you're a lover of perfumes follow me there i'm going to leave the name of the channel here and i'm also going to leave the link to the channel down there i have two channels and that one is fast growing so follow me there and yeah enjoy my reviews as well so um, this is it like i said sunscreen is the last thing and that will be it for my morning routine hopefully probably next week i can come again with another update to show you guys if there's any improvement on my face and i'm also going to do my ninth time routine uh, one of these days maybe this week or next week depending on if i get the chance to do it so this is it guys this is a realistic acne morning routine from an active act act acne sufferer <laughs> an active acne sufferer so bye